So if you didn't know, there's a broadcast from Rick Toffin on this map um, while he's doing the Easter egg on Moon. And uh, once he completes the Easter egg and switches his body with Samantha, you'll notice on round 23 or 24, the eye colors of the zombies will change to, from yellow to blue. So that's kind of cool. You keep an eye out for that when that happens. That's, that, of course, uh, signifies that Rick Toffin is taking control of the zombies, which hasn't happened yet, but will happen throughout this gameplay if we make it far enough, of course. I want that. Um, am I seeing a glitch on some of these zombies' heads right now? What the fuck's on their faces? I swear to God I saw some zombies running around with purple helmets on. You guys pause that. Go back and see what the hell that was about. What was that? I swear, man, I get some glitchy ass shit going on sometimes. Am I crazy? You know what? I think it's just my pack a punch gun kind of blending in with the characters. I don't know. I might just be making this all up. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Might be time for a nap. I'm seeing shit. Claymore time. So many crawlers. Here, crawlers, play with that. We done? Nah, I can't be done already. Yeah. Does he have purple on him or not? I'm fucking colorblind. I don't even know, guys. Let's pack this thing again. I think it's going to go back to iron sights when I pack it twice. I think. Oh, no. I got the uh, millimeter scanner. Fantastic. I do like the cross here. Or the, the reticle better, though. I got the uh, just the uh, traditional cross. Can I put you in? Yes, I can. Put a noob tube on this fucking thing, would you? You know, it's kind of hard to tell what you get on the shotgun. Maybe a long barrel or something. Seems to be the same. Okay. <laughs> fucking millimeter scanner. That's so not helpful in zombies at all. Like, why would you... Why would they put this in the game? It's fucking retarded. Is there a practical use that you guys have found for the millimeter scanner? I mean, I guess. Okay, I guess. Like, at the end of the round, sometimes you're like, where's the last zombie? Where's the last zombie? And I sort of guess you could see him through a wall. I suppose you can use it for that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to think of what a use for the millimeter scanner with zombies is. I don't know, but I'll eat through some zombies, though. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yes, here's my exit. There's my exit. There we go. I'm always planning ahead when I'm doing these kind of like unorthodox rave trains. I'm always looking for gaps before I actually even sprint or do anything. I'm always kind of like one step ahead of myself. Okay. This thing's not that powerful, to be honest with you. These slow zombies are slow, and they just get in the fucking way. Get out of here. Slow zombies are indeed slow. All right, this looks like my last few. Oh, God, is there one beside me? Huh. I got double tapped by one zombie. But from two different locations. That was weird. There we go. I could use that. Well, not quite, but it's still fine. Okay. Here he is. Sit down, son. Round 21 coming at ya. Hell yeah, we're flying through this challenge. We are, um, hmm, I don't know, 12 rounds away, I think, from my goal. What did I say? 33, 34? I think I said 34. So, we are 13 rounds away. That lag in 24 math for you. Alright. 
Oh, oh. Oh, fuck. There we go. But sometimes I just get lucky as fuck playing this game. And other times it is actual skill. But to be a good zombie player, you obviously need to have uh, rape training skill if you're going to play solo. Um, and a little bit of luck doesn't hurt anybody. Having knowledge of the zombie spawns is also big if you're playing by yourself. It's just good to know where they're coming from. And I don't have them like 100% figured out on this map, but for back here, certainly. Yeah, I know where they're always spawning from, but doesn't matter. These slow ones will fuck everything up. Oh, you just got fucked up, zombie. I kind of want to get some headshots with this thing. See if it is better. It's hard to tell. I don't even know if I'm like killing a lot or just one. I mean, there's blood splattering everywhere, but I think I'm just doing damage. I don't think I'm actually killing. Hard to say. And I'm getting points, so something good's happening. All right, let's use, let's use the claymore, save some uh, ammo. All right, I don't hear any more spawning. Guess round 21's over. <laughs> Double points, insta-kill, uh, kaboom, max ammo. It just gives you so much shit. Would you fucking knock it off and die already? There we go, there we go. So we might see the eyes change on this round. I cannot remember, though, to save my life. I just cannot remember. But either way, round 22, let's do it. I get a lot of people asking me what I'm going to do when Call of Duty Ghosts comes out. Now, a little bit of history for people that don't know. Uh, and trust me, there are people that do not know this. But So when it comes to the Call of Duty franchise, there are two developers, two major developers. And that's Treyarch and Infinity Ward. And they switch turns every year on who's making the next Call of Duty. So Black Ops 2, which you're watching right now, is made by Treyarch. And um, Infinity Ward is going to be making Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, Black Ops 2 Treyarch guys, or just Treyarch in general, they own the rights to zombies and do not share those rights with Infinity Ward. Uh, yes, Infinity Ward. Sorry, I'm confusing myself now. So there will be no zombies on... Um, Call of Duty Ghosts. So a lot of people say, you know, you have a zombie channel. What the fuck are you going to do? Your channel's going to die. Well, I'd like to think I'm smarter than that. My channel's not going to die. So what I have planned on doing, of course, is I'll still be playing with some of these zombie maps. World at War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and still doing my challenges. Uh, but in addition to that, I've decided that I'm going to bust out Nazi zombies, custom zombies on the PC. So you're going to be seeing a ton of maps that you've never seen before. Most of you have never seen before. And we'll be doing challenges on those and just regular playthroughs on those. Um, so that'll keep the zombies fresh and going for that year while Ghost is out. Now, I'm not going to ignore Ghost. I love the Call of Duty franchise and I will be playing Ghost. So that's why you have not seen any Fuck, Mary Kill on my channel in uh, probably at least a month. I've decided to put Fuck, Mary Kill on pause and bring it back for Call of Duty Ghost. And I'll be using multiplayer footage from Call of Duty Ghost for those episodes, which will be a lot more regular. Even when I was doing those a lot, I was still only doing them once a month, maybe twice a month on a good month. They're going to be like weekly when Call of Duty Ghost comes out, alongside with my zombie stuff. In addition to that, if you guys remember Modern Warfare 3, the makers of, I'm sorry, Infinity War, the makers of Modern Warfare 3, had a special game mode called um, Survival Mode. And it was their answer to zombies, although it kind of sucked. Now, I hear they're doing something different than that, but similar in the same rights. So if there's something that they do, a special game mode that I can do challenges on, then game on. I'll be doing that as well. So I've got plenty of ideas for Call of Duty Black Op, or Call of Duty Ghosts. So you guys don't need to worry about me going anywhere, or taking like a year break or anything like that. You can't take a year break on YouTube, man. It just There'll be nothing there when you get back. So there's the answer to that question I get quite frequently.
Don't take swings at me. You don't know what I'm all about. You don't know where I've been at. Those are three hits now in round 22. Uh, but we're moving along round 23. Now we're 10 away from our goal of reaching round 34, 33. I keep wanting to say it's 33, but it's 34. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I probably have the rules in an annotation somewhere at the start of the uh, video. I'll make sure I get that right when I put the rules in the video. But yeah, we're stuck with this uh, M27 and um, the Mesmerizer, which was that shotgun with, that has the four chambers on it. And just fucking spams shotgun shells. It's crazy. Those are always fun to run into in multiplayer, let me tell you. Nothing like bam, 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 and just getting fucked up by some kid with no skill. I mean, it takes a little skill because you don't have the range uh, that other weapons have. So you do have to get close to the enemy. But once you engage short range in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation, and you have this gun, you better not lose the gunfight. You shouldn't. That being said, I play with... Uh, I think my favorite classes in multiplayer are... Oh, what guns do I use a lot of? Well, right now, I'm totally addicted to the M27, so it's pretty cool that I got it on this challenge. Um, a big fan of the Vector and PDW um, and the MSMC. So those four guns I mentioned are probably my favorite classes to use. When I do snipers uh, on multiplayer, it's usually just for fun, and I'm just fucking around. But it's always the DSR. LMGs I've barely touched. Sometimes me and uh, Swifty will get bored, and we'll do a worm squirm class. I'm sure you guys know what the worm squirm is. Um, but we'll do that, and of course we'll LMG and hide behind our riot shields and just camp our faces off with, uh, with um, trophy systems and uh, shit like that. And that's a lot of fun to do, but we don't do it for long. We usually do it on um, capture the flag and just defend the flag. It's a lot of fun. Hey, hey, hey. So many zombies behind me. You go away now. Holy crap. The frame rate went so bad just then. The lag, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> just like everything froze for a second. That was crazy. I didn't even realize I had insta-kill when I put that uh, claymore down. I was kind of surprised it killed that many on round 23. Now we know why. Okay, and I'm out of insta-kill. This round appears to be coming to an end. Let's pack um, the MSMC again. I don't know what's going to happen when you pack it for the third time. Let's find out, shall we? Get rid of the fast guy here. All right. Okay, we're back to iron sights, I believe. Yeah. All right, let's try packing this guy again. Uh, let's grab it. And yeah, oh, we got a, we've got a reticle, a reticule, uh, we've got um, a red dot sight now. Um, so that's helpful for trying to shoot them in the head, I guess. Back up, back up. Uh. <laughs> there we go. Man, oh man, oh man. Gone are the days of people assuming I don't know what Gavin Knuckles are. You all are probably well versed in this story, but... Fucking November the whatever. The day this game came. Oh my god, it's round 24. I'll tell the story later. Holy crap. So we broke the curse on Buried. Will it carry over to Nuketown? So every time we play Buried from now on, there is no round 24 issue. But we haven't broken it on Nuketown. So we got to break it on each map. So let's get past round 24 real quick. And then we'll talk about the time that everybody assumed I didn't know what the fuck Gavin Knuckles were. And still do to this day. Pretty sure I got some nice kills in there that time. Just aim high at their heads. We have 11 more shells in here. <laughs> Just spamming the hell out of this thing. I'm not going for those double points. Unless... Yeah, now I can go for them. Okay. Not that I need them, really. But they're there, so I might as well grab them. Got plenty of ammo in here, so we're getting through this round for sure. 
But uh, I do need a max ammo. Ha! Huh, are you serious? They gave me a max ammo. Let's pick it up while we can. Because you just never know what kind of trouble I might get into on round 24. But that helps. I think my next challenge, I'll turn magic off. This is fucking ridiculous. It's like having training wheels on zombies. The only thing that would have made this a little easier is if I put it on easy mode. Jesus. Alright. Yeah! Alright, so their eyes are gonna change now. 